Okay, guys, I'm here today with Tarsus Huffers, huge honor for me. Guys, Tarsus was one of my best training partners when I was living in Sao Paulo and probably like one of the top like jiu-jitsu athletes in the world. He won the words with Gi, he got third place in the ADCC and he had one of the best matches in the jiu-jitsu world. And guys, one of the best matches he ever had was the finals of the words of 2010 when he competed against Homo Bahal. That, in my opinion, is one of probably like top five jiu-jitsu athletes in the world. And the Tarsus got him with a knee bar. That was very, very interesting because uh, Bahá was attacking him from the turtle. And then from the turtle, he went to the knee bar. So today he's going to show us here how he does it. And uh, another thing that's very interesting about Tarsus is that at that time, not too many people were using like leg locks and full locks in Jiu Jitsu with Gi, right Tarsus? Yeah, yeah, that's correct, yeah. Yeah, so I remember like uh, he was the one like, especially in the training that everybody would train for him, <laughs> would be very concerned about leg locks and full locks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I always thought like about attack the whole body. So for me, there's no reason to just like attack 50% of the body. You know? I agree. So if you have the whole body, I and then it. most people at the time was just like, okay, knee bars, chokes, and omoquadas. I agree. kind of forgot a little bit of, you know, lower extremity attacks. And then yeah. I put everything like groin, knee, and feet, and everything. Agree. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's do that. Talk. Okay, yeah, let's do So this one, I was on a turtle guard, you know, but how was passing my guard? And then I, he forced me to turn on turtle position. But at that time I was, you know, training a lot of the, my guard defense, so I ended up a lot on the turtle, and then I could, you know, do some attacks from there, and then the bar was one of that. So we're gonna start right here at the third position. Bernard is gonna have at, at the, the moment at the fight, um, Homo has this hook on top of my leg, especially to avoid the knee bar here. So I was here protecting my neck the whole time. So what I did, I drove my right arm inside. I look outside. So what I need to do here, guys, I need always to like start to, I pretend that I'm gonna push him back. So creating space for him to put the hood and then I push him forward. So you see like his like is weak. So this is the work right here that we need to do. So look, push back all the way up. Now I'm wrapping his leg, I'm turning outside. Look, my leg comes inside. So this is the leg that I need to create the leverage to attack the knee bar. At that moment, but how decided to don't get swept? Because at the time, at the world, uh, what they would do, they would give two points, not anymore. But at the time, for third, they will count. So what I did, I closed the track right here on his butt, you know, and I just control it. His, uh, I could stand right here. At the moment, at that moment, what I did, I would just start to extend, 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 and it was like a straight knee bar. I didn't end up putting under my armpit, but nowadays I would, you know, always bring here under my armpit because it's like extra leverage that you guys can use. So yeah, this is so one more time, Tarsus. So we're in the turtle. I'm gonna attack the turtle here. So I'm gonna control both lapels underneath the arm, yeah. and I'm gonna try to place this hook over here, right? Yeah, especially to avoid the knee bar. That's the way. I got it now, Tars is going to start rolling, right? So like pushing back oh, and then yes. So this is probably the most important thing, right? Because when you push me back, I'm going to push you forward and then my leg is going to get light, right? Yes, correct. So now I hook your leg with my arm and I make like a front roll, like kind of kicking you forward. So look, that's what I do here. And then if I get a little bit here, depends like what's going to be. So. As soon as I have this attack, I start to create, you know, all the leverage, control it can stand. And nowadays, yeah, really tight over there. Let's just change the angle here, just so everybody can see how you finish with the bar. So you finish with the bar like that. Yeah. So I don't really like to close the triangle over there. I like to use my leg that is inside between your legs to push you, right? Then I cross the other one on top. So you never close the triangle. No, I, because I, I, I believe this is a better system to create more leverage. Got it. And then I support your Achilles stand right here. Come all the way over, you know, drive, Place touch ah. my thigh right here. And now I use, you know, by both legs to push your butt. And then that's how you can. So the secret also is to bring your scapula all the way back here. Oh, I got it, man, that's amazing. <laughs> and guys, just want to clear here that uh, Homo Bahau is one of my favorite fighters of all times. 
uh, he won the Worlds, I think, like five or six times. He's medium heavy and he made it to the finals of the Open Class like three times. So, yeah, a lot of respect for him. And, uh, and guys, uh, we just shot an entire structure with Tarsus all about his leg lock and foot lock game. And uh, it's gonna be at BGG Fanatics soon, bgfanatics.com. So, maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. Yeah, so, yeah. thanks so much, Tarsus. Thank you, Appreciate it. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.